Okay, one more time today. This is Christy Mattoon from Mind Rewire. Um, I am going to be talking about the second law of the universe and how it interacts in our systems. Um, but before I do that, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if this helps you, it'll probably help somebody else. So if you can share the video, I always appreciate that. Um, I hope I'm talking loud enough that everybody can hear me. I've heard that a few times today and I lost my earphones I was using earlier. So <laughs> I don't have them on this time. It's okay though. Um, I'll just try and talk loud. So the first law of the universe is mentalism. We talked about that in the last video. And one of the reasons I want to talk about this is because a lot of the things that you're thinking are not your thoughts. And I don't even know if I mentioned that in the last video. The problem with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now is that we are made to believe that the things that we believe and the things that we think come from us. And they don't. It comes from other sources. It comes from whoever taught you. It comes from the government that repeats things over and over until you believe it. Um, and that's what takes me into the second law, which is the law of correspondence. The second law of the universe is a law of correspondence. It enacts um, in the center of your brain with the pineal gland and the other glands that are floating, or not floating around in there, but that are in there. The law of correspondence um, basically is a relationship um, with your third eye. All right. So if you understand that and it has a relationship to thought through your senses. So correspondence means correspondence to the outside world because of your senses, your sight, smell, sound, touch, um, taste, right? Things that give you understanding of things outside of you to the inside of you and then to the inside of you to the outside of you, right? So it works both ways. Correspondence is that relationship and it has a relationship to the thoughts that you're thinking. So because of something I might see or hear or touch or taste or smell, I'll have correspondence with a thought or something that I think I know about that thing. And if the thought itself is generated from a different place outside of my, um, I want to say awareness or consciousness, generated because of something you were told, something you were made to believe, you know, made to believe and it wasn't even true. Follow what I'm saying here because this is really important. Your ability to activate the law of correspondence will be really tough. Even activating the law of uh, mentalism, actualizing your own thoughts is tough if you are still engaging in the propaganda of the world. Now we live on this planet, so to some degree you have to, you have to engage with it, but you have to have ability to discern, is this true? Is this not true? Can I set this aside and not participate? Do you understand what I'm saying? Correspondence, the second law of the universe enacts directly with the thoughts that you have and the first law of the universe, which is mentalism. So from your crown to your third eye, these two laws activate inside of your system and have been sabotaged by the people who run the world, if you know what I mean. Is this making sense? And if you don't know what I'm talking about or you think this is, you know, it's tomfoolery or I don't even know. If you think it's something that's conspiracy theory, right? The idea that there's a, an elite global unit trying to, and I'm trying not to use words that'll get me in trouble again on YouTube, um, that are directly taking over pretty much the whole planet right now. Don't bother commenting. I don't, I'm not here to prove anything to you. I don't care what you think or don't think about it. I want you to understand that one of the things that's keeping you stuck where you're stuck is because of things that you've heard, believed, have been told from that level of, I think propaganda is the right word that I want to use, right? It comes down directly from a high source and in, in the Western culture, 
our information is repeated over and over and over and over thousands of times. And all of a sudden, you know, there's articles that direct you to articles that direct you back to articles. And whether they're true or not true, they say this is the truth because here's the article. Here's the scientific fact. Here's the information. Right? And it was just somebody pointing at it going, here, somebody wrote this article or did this scientific study. And it really wasn't. It was just their whatever. And they put it out there. And then somebody else points back to it. And then somebody else points back to it. And somebody else. And pretty soon it's truth. It's viable truth. It's what we think is real. And it's not real. Right? So we were taught to believe lies. We were taught to believe untruth. We were taught to try and live in this world with that around us based on what they want us to think, what they want us to understand. Does that make sense? And if you understand the laws of the universe and you can put your focus on the thought that you want to have and then let your senses engage, you will have a totally different experience even while this junk is going on. Does it make sense? You will have an ability, and I don't want to say the word bypass because we all have to go through the mayhem that's about to erupt, but you will be stronger in it if you can get yourself up and running, get your system up and running through this period of time by getting the whole system into coherence, not just your brain, right? Brain coherence is awesome, but it's only one part, not just your heart, your heart coherence is awesome but it's only one part right we bring the gut into it in mind rewire and beyond heart coherence and having those three centers of your body aligned is amazing but it's still just one part right you have to have the alignment of the universal code you have to have the alignment of the laws of the universe and they are built into your code they are built into your system it's just not something that was ever taught to us and it wasn't something that was ever told to us. So um, that's what this is all about. And I wanted to see if I could help you understand the law of correspondence. As it relates to your own system, it will help, um, help you with a level of discernment as to what's going on around you. And it will help you um, when you're trying to formulate your thoughts. If you understand that through your senses, through your senses, there's a direct line of, um, of usage of these thoughts, right? And if they're not your thoughts, it's a mess. That's why we end up in so much trouble. We think the doctor is telling the truth. We think that whatever he says goes. We think that the government has the answers. We think that they're going to save us somehow. <laughs> and they're not right? Anything but. So, um, but understanding these laws will definitely help you. Understanding that they all have frequency, they all have vibration, right? Frequency is the oscillation or the length of the, of the vibration and the vibration itself is how fast, how fast that's moving. Understanding that every color has a frequency to it, um, it has its own, right? It has its own vibration. And if you understand that, it can hone into that vibration. You will end up in a whole different place going through everything that's coming on next. I hope that made sense. Um, I do hope that made sense. If it's something you're interested in, it's still not too late to get in on this course. I'm teaching it live. I'll send you the first two videos we've already done the first two lectures and um, you'll be able to still jump in on the live ones that are that are coming up in the next four weeks so um, the next series we go through will be the next three laws so throat heart and um, I want to say solar plexus right each one of those have a law attached to them and if you understand that it makes the chakras have a whole new meaning <sighs> I bless you. I thank you for being here. I hope this helped and I hope to talk to you soon. If you're interested in the course on the heart coherence and the seven laws of the universe, shoot me an email um, at Christy at mindrewire.com. Check out the video I just did on the first law of the universe, which is mentalism. It'll be on my page. You should be able to see it. 
And um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.